Oh, this pandemic has changed our lives in so many ways. I tell you, one of the ones I don't like is how many restaurants have just resorted to go to take out only. You can't go inside, even though things are getting better, you still can't sit inside and eat. If you don't want to take it with you, if you don't want to cram it in your mouth while you're driving down the road, you got to sit outside and hopefully it's a nice day. Hopefully it's not raining. I don't know what we're going to do when it starts to snow. But you know, there's nothing like a meal that isn't rushed. There's nothing like a meal with family and friends that is, that is home cooked. There's plenty of nice warm food and sweet fellowship. One of those meals where you can sit and you can take the t- your time and, and get to know each other and talk about each other's stories and about what God is doing in your life. Oh, I love those meals. But you know what? Church in many ways can be similar to a family meal. It is a time where we come together to worship God. It's a time where we come together to feast, to eat on the Word of God. It is a time where we come together and we fellowship together. We come together as a community. And as we gather together, much like a meal, we see each other. We, see, we tell each other stories. We, we shake hands. We hug each other. And it is good to be together. You see, worship isn't just about learning. It isn't just about preaching. It isn't just about songs being sung. It is about the body of Christ gathering together for worship. The communion, as we say, of the saints, God's people communing together in community. Well, unfortunately, one of the, one of the fallouts of the, of the pandemic isn't just simply that we eat outside or we use fast food and we can't sit and worship. All of us have had to go through a season where we've had to begin to broadcast church into our homes. And it's become easy. We've been, it's been easy for us to stay at home and begin to, to watch church. Matter of fact, it's, it, it's, it's more like watching a movie to many of us because we don't even have to watch our home church anymore. Like Netflix, we can sit down and decide which one we want to watch. And we can choose that, that service, whether we like the music or the message that day. We select according to our taste. And in fact, then we become consumers of our faith, consumers of Christianity, rather than those who partake of the benefits of it. Now, I realize that many of us cannot go out. You cannot gather together for worship. But there's also a lot of people that have chosen to make it their point because it's a lot easier to stay at home and just simply consume what I can watch rather than participate in the community that God has called us to worship together in. So here's my question for you. Are you a consumer Christian? Are you somebody who's committed to community, committed to the body of Christ? Because it is in that commitment to the body of Christ, that communion of saints, where not only you'll find hope and encouragement, but you will find grace. Are you a consumer Christian? Are you committed to community, Christian community? I'm Bob Warner, and I'd like you to think about that. 